So everyone, uh, as I just mentioned, we have Kevin here on screen and terrific achievement that uh, he got 50-42. That's the kind of score I mentioned in the very beginning of my classes. 50-42-760, all of you must be remembering this. It's almost like a picture-perfect 99th percentile story. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Sandeep, sir. Good afternoon. Really nice to see you because uh, I did not know much about your progress or uh, preparation. So were you in the self-paced or the live course first? No, no. I, I was in the live. Uh, I was in the live classes. I joined in Jan, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, there were a few breaks in the middle, and I ended up giving the final attempt uh, a few days back. Okay. So, what would be your net preparation time if you remove all the things that all the time that you did not study? Let's say. Uh, I think around four months because uh, all that started in Jan. By April, my mock scores had already reached around 767, 70. Um, I did attempt uh, that time, uh, but my uh, the server there was a server issue that happened uh, when I gave the test, so they rescheduled it. Uh, well, server issue I, means in the actual at the center or during your yeah, online yeah. attempt? No, no. At the center, there was a server issue. Uh, this was back in April, uh, I think 17th April this year. Mm -hmm. uh, so they cancelled that attempt and they asked me to reschedule it. So I I had uh, work related obligations, so I had to take some time off. Oh. Uh, then I again started my preparations again in June and I gave it in July. All right. Take us through your entire prep, uh, how you went about it, which materials you studied. Remember, this batch is relatively new. It's in the third week right now. So they may mm -hmm. not know. So I'll keep on elaborating some of the content you refer to. So the entire content and... Uh, Later on, your entire, let's say, mock test and real exam, I'll come in chronological order. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I referred solely to a top uh, material. So from the start in the live classes, I made sure that I kept doing the pre-work and post-work uh, and also the optional pre-work as much as I could. I think right. that was really important to keep me in touch with the next uh, chapter, etc. Uh, it also gave me confidence because solving that tougher question that I then optional pre-work helped me build mm -hmm. confidence in each concept also. Especially right. for certain maths topics like probability, mm -hmm. etc. I think that was really important there. Uh, so I stuck to the plan while the live classes were on. I think two months the live classes got over, and after mm -hmm. that, I solely practiced only 700 level plus questions. Uh, mm -hmm. And mostly all of it was from uh, just uh, top material. Uh, by this time, however, my CR and RC was pretty good. I had great accuracy here, so I took a backseat on those. Uh, my SE was still really bad. Uh, in fact, my accuracy there was still around 50%, which is not at all good. Um, mm -hmm. So I redid sentence correction altogether again from the start, SE 1 to 5, right. Uh, right. to get my accuracy up there. So for a couple of weeks, I, there, I just focused on SE solely. Uh, mm -hmm. I go, it got much better. And then again, started solving just from the portal. So what I did right. after that was uh, quant, verbal, and, uh, of, uh, and uh, official mocks. I just kept doing one, one of those each day uh, mm -hmm. till I had my first attempt. Okay. And uh, you felt you were pretty prepared and you would have probably got the score back then itself. Then what did you do differently or what did you do more? Because you probably would have exhausted most of the stuff by then, it seems. So what exactly, yeah, so, how did you plan between June and July this time? Yeah, yeah. so I think that time I was a little too tense over the exam. It was the first time I was giving the exam and I also had taken quite a few days off from work to do that. Uh, I think I put too much pressure on the exam that time. I, was, I, I remember while doing the attempt that time, I was very nervous. Uh, mm -hmm. I did the opposite this time. I took it very lightly. I thought that my preparations are good. I'm giving the portal mocks and still getting a pretty good score. So let's take it very calmly. Let's just go. Uh, I didn't take leave from work. Also. I just worked mm -hmm. half day and I went to the center the other half. I, I think it was more of a mindset change that I had, where instead of taking it too seriously or taking too much, putting too much pressure on that one exam, uh, I just uh, told myself that I've prepared well, I've done everything I had to, so let's just go and give it. Let's not put too much pressure on this one day. It will it will only have negative effects. And it really worked out, right? Yeah, I think that really did. Uh, <laughs> right. So you really did drop. a lot of content, it seems. Overall, you must have practiced quite a lot towards the end, right? The whole portal, etc. Yeah, I think I exhausted all of the uh, questions in the portal that were there from verbal and quant. That's that's a lot of work. So tell us about your exam experience. Was there anything unusual? Were you nervous? Were you tense? The the recent exam experience, that one we yeah. know before we know already that it had service issues, but otherwise. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so uh, not nervous at all this time, but uh, one thing I noticed is that the paper was much tougher. So I initially thought that uh, the official exam was more in line with the official mocks that are there on uh, mba.com. 
rather than what we have in the portal but with my experience the actual exam was actually more in line with what we have on the portal it was much more tougher uh, it i've uh, always been I, saying this that the official mocks are way easier i've been saying this yes. for the years yes. yeah go ahead it, it is uh, it is actually very true uh, I, i i thought as much i thought it would be somewhere in the middle uh, i realized that the official mocks in mba.com are quite easy so i thought it would be somewhere in the middle but actually the exam was much more towards the portal mocks right from the start at certain point i was struggling to get everything correct uh but mm-hmm. i i think because i practiced those official uh, the, the stop mocks so much i had mm-hmm. uh, i had practice of those i knew what to do if one or two question come really difficult uh, i knew how to manage my time in those cases especially i did not spend too much time on a question at one mm-hmm. point you have to agree that you are not getting the answer let's just mark your best case and move on and i think the top mocks taught me how to do that because uh, top mocks m- may had seldom finish on time and always struggled at the last one or two so i had to learn time management for really tough questions and i think that came in handy on the main exam day as well very very happy to hear this any nerves any anxiety this time you said no though but none at all right and what were your order like verbal quant uh, there or quant uh, verbal what did you do this time uh, quant first then verbal and after that uh, ir and ewa there's one part mm-hmm. that really uh, uh, was difficult though in verbal uh, there was uh, the the rcs i got were really very long uh, mm-hmm. in fact so long that i had to require multiple scrolls on the pay on the right. computer screen uh, and i think i spent at least 10 minutes on that one rc uh, because it was tough but i thought i can't get the entire rc wrong that would be disastrous so i spent a lot of time on that one rc and i ended up in a situation where i had six questions remaining with six minutes in hand uh, okay luckily mm-hmm. everything was only sc and rc uh, sc and cr and uh, i i just went into autopilot and i had to quickly get them i had i could not have any questions pending in the end and i also knew if i make to mission me and my school drop really bad so uh, i had to really solve it uh, very attentively at that the last six moments i thought i picked out a little there but uh, i think seeing my score i think that went quite well those last six questions went quite well okay uh, now being on the other side what do you think people shouldn't do at all or should do you know let's say if you're preparing these are the three things you should do or shouldn't do what would you say Oh, I think definitely consistency comes top on the list. Uh, it is very important to be consistent. Uh, to put in that many hours every day, at least, do not have any gaps in practice. I think when I had a gap uh, uh, between my two attempts, I think it took a while to get to that level again. And um, I think being consistent is key over here. And I think the second thing would be to solve difficult questions. Uh, because in the exam, you're if you're aiming for a seven sixty, you are going to get those tough questions. and i think it is important to get accustomed to solving those difficult questions early on in your practice um, mm-hmm. because it helps you in the main exam as well i think mm-hmm. that is important i think i didn't do that in the start i uh, at, at to some level i did it but i think towards the end i started really focusing on only 700 plus level questions and lsat rcs and i think that helped quite a bit any other thing you would say should or shouldn't do just uh... you know i think follow the plan the plan is very well laid out uh, keep in line with the pre work and post work and just stay consistent i think those are the main key things uh, right right that i also followed right kevin and uh, what's the plan now are you applying this year are you waiting out i mean generally no no i'm planning to apply for round 1 i've already mm-hmm. uh, spoken to all 3 and i've started that process so i'm hoping to apply uh, in time oh, yeah you have you have about 40 45 days so it should be pretty good now and yeah. what are the schools you are aiming for uh definitely m7s uh, and a few other schools as well uh, i i'm a product manager right now and i need to do that post mba so i'm looking at schools that have a good uh, program in product management oh some of the non m7 schools actually have some good programs as well there mm-hmm. so really really nice if you have something else to add or you know tell people one person is asking on the chat by the way which center was it where this happened so it must be very local though i mean that <laughs> yeah, yeah it was in mumbai uh, no but a good thing is the center uh, i mean uh, mumbai there was a center in maharashtra college in near baikala and they they don't have <laughs> they are not taking appointments anymore i think they stopped taking there altogether mm-hmm. uh, so that's good i guess all right i mean it's a, it's a thing that can happen anywhere it's not something mm-hmm. that you can label it but yeah i think there's somebody asked on chat so it's, all right anyone has a question for kevin if you want to ask something please you have the audio access you can ask Uh, hi Kevin I have a question mm-hmm. yeah, First yeah, of all ahead. congratulations for such a good score Thank you right uh, and I just want to ask like um, you said that you properly studied for like 4 months 
so can do you can you give me an idea like how many hours would you were, were you able to actually devote on weekdays or weekends for this so i put a lot of time so uh, i worked from 9 to 6 every day uh, 6 to 8 i would take a break go to the gym etc but every day i'd make sure from 9 to 3 o'clock i have time to study uh, there would be dinner in middle but i try to put in at least 4 hours every day uh, at least for the last two months that was my the routine and weekends i try to put in as much time as i could but i think around 4 hours a day i had average in last two months okay, okay so you are saying like four days on weekdays mm-hmm. and on weekend then you can stretch yeah yeah Okay. Yeah. Anyone else has a question? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes. Sir. Hi, Kevin. Congratulations on the score. Uh, just wanted to know that when you started, like uh, as we mentioned, this is just our third weekend right now. So, what was your accuracy at this point, solving the live um, PDFs and everything? If you remember, not yeah, not very good. So in maths, I had a good accuracy because quant is always my stronger suit. Uh, but in center uh, in uh, in the in verbal it was really bad it was around 50% or 60% in the start uh, it gradually improved after that but in the start verbal was really low quants i think was always pretty good for me because i'm i come from engineering background i like maths uh, verbal was bad though verbal i had to actually put a lot of effort to improve on any other question anyone has please uh, hi kevin uh, congratulations on your score Uh, as you said that you were putting four hours every day, so how were you dividing your time for each, uh, each for verbal and for different sections in verbal and maths? Okay, so in the start, uh, when the live class was on, it was very straightforward because the the study plan was already laid out, so I knew exactly what I needed to achieve by that weekend, and accordingly I divided my time that way. Uh, once the live classes got over, I, I made sure that I don't go more than two or three days without hitting at least without hitting each of the uh, topics that we have. Uh, so that way, I would uh, make sure that every two days, me at least once I hit once, once I hit S C, once I hit S C, once I hit C R, um, and that was basically it. And towards the end, it happened. Uh, we I reached a point where I was just giving mocks every day. So one verbal mock, one quant mock, one verbal mock, one quant mock. Uh, I think that's how. That's more or less how I divided it. I would also say that every two to three days, he's saying two. Sometimes we don't have four hours, so every two to three days, no matter what, every three days you should be able to touch. This is during the practice phase, by the way, not during the mm-hmm. first eight weekends. Okay, so this is not the point. At anyone yeah. else has a question? Oh, Please hey, let me know. Uh, congratulations! I just have one question. Uh, I feel a little low on this verbal. Uh, the same issue for me. Uh, how did you concentrate on verbal exclusively? Like, uh, how did you? improve it gradually can you just give me a couple of tips on that i think just practice uh, see for cr and rc it was just practice there's not much i mean once you learn the basics of the solder you learn to apply octave etc it is just practice uh, for me se was a bigger pain though i had to do the entire se multiple times i had to do two times from start to end i think se in se there's a lot of theory to first learn and you then learn how to apply it but when it comes to rc and cr i think you just need to keep practicing and gradually keep practicing tougher sums with the timer and you will improve if your if your process is correct your score and your accuracy will definitely improve but it's basic it comes down to basic practice okay one more question to aaron uh, did you have like time related issues like i find myself not able to finish uh, at the end so how did that improve the pace you had it on the test day itself so yes he must have had anyway so <laughs> yes uh, uh Yeah, I mean, I think once you, if you're solving tougher questions regularly, right, you'll have a habit of you'll be accustomed to that level of questions and try to and you'll try to solve within that time as well. Uh, I I think I because I practiced those enough in the main day, it did not take me off too much. I had less time for these questions. Uh, again, it comes down to practice, but again, I gra- got there gradually. Uh, there mm-hmm. there were S C N C R questions that would take me three minutes to solve in the start. Uh, just with regular practice and solving lot of different types of sums, I could get that timing. Uh, to somewhere around one and a half minute two minutes okay uh, sorry okay. one more question to add uh, see please please, please can we just uh, all right just little last more. question yeah, please, yeah. Please. Uh, so you ha- you spend like ten minutes in hours on the examination day, right? Uh, so obviously you would go this anxiety that will you be able to finish? And I I got you went to this autopilot mode, but what was the thought process in that ten minutes? Like you should you know attempt it <laughs> at the end, or you know I'm just wanting to understand your thought process. There was no option, right? I have to. I can't get an RC wrong. I, my score would not come anyway close to seven sixty, so I have to solve that RC. And after that also, I mean, in the end of the paper, if you get multiple mistakes in a row, it will drop your score really bad. Uh, so there was no thought process at, at all. It just solve it and solve it as fast as possible. And he had done a lot of practice, so probably autopilot takes over in such situations. Hey, thank you so much.
all right kevin really really happy for your score and uh, all the way best for your admissions process and eventually admissions and do keep in touch thanks a lot for making sure. the time today right yeah thank you sandeep sir thank you everyone and best of luck for your exam bye yeah. bye, -bye. Thanks, kevin